Live from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank, the bank that specializes in understanding you. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of North Fulton Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and we are coming to you from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank. And today you are more connected than ever, whether it's your friends, your family, or your life. Renaissance understands how you bank, offering the mobile banking services that you need. Renaissance also knows that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. And that's why Renaissance has more than 170 convenient locations throughout the South ready to serve you. For more information, go to RenaissanceBank.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. And we have got two great guests here today on North Fulton Business Radio. Mark Hayes with Mark Hayes Consulting and Josh McClure with United Water Restoration Group of Atlanta North. That's a a mouthful, (laughs) but it's all good. Uh, But we're going to start with Mark Hayes, Mark Hayes Consulting. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What a pleasure to be here. It's great to have you here. We got to go where the money is. We're the bank. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> right here inside Renaissance Bank. Uh, you you got that right. So, Mark, for those that don't know you, and there are a few people out there that do know you, right? But for yeah. those that don't know you, tell them about you and what you do. Yeah. So I um, started my other life way back in the 1989. I'm graduating from Howard University and uh, realizing my dream as a television news broadcaster. I was a television news anchor and reporter for 28 years and uh, finally decided to grow up and uh, become an entrepreneur. So I got out of television news back in 2017. I had initially founded my company in 2010. Oh. And yeah, and incorporated back then because I, I had figured out what I wanted to do. I did Good Day Atlanta for a decade here in Atlanta. Absolutely loved it. Met some amazing people, as you know. Sure. The people here in Atlanta are absolutely phenomenal. You got a little bit of everything. You really Which did. was great about that show. So we had great news, obviously. We got plenty of news in Atlanta. Yep. Right. Um, and then we had celebrity. We had sports. I mean, so you had um, the best of all worlds when it came to covering different kinds of, of uh, news events. And I realized that um, a lot of folks didn't really understand how blessed they were to get on television with a free three minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> right? So right. I, so I figured, hey, you know, let me help people understand how this works. And now, of course, in the digital age, it's becoming more important than ever. If you get on television, um, if you get an opportunity to be in the media, especially um, a television news broadcast where you're getting that stamp of approval, it's critical for your brand and brand awareness. It's it's almost like someone saying, hey, that brand is good. Boom. We stamp, we approve. Right. And now you can use that um, to help sell your widget or sell your services and to help people understand you. You'd be surprised how many qualities and traits that go into TV news that can relate to business. For example, credibility, right? Sure. I can't make mistakes on television news and have you come and want to do business with me. You're not going to trust me, mm-hmm. right? When a big news story happens, you're going to say, well, Mark made a mistake. He told me 75 was was shut down and it was I-85 that was shut down. <laughs> right. I, I That's a big mistake. Yeah. Hours, yeah, for right? sure. Yeah. So you get to earn uh, the trust yeah. of the potential customers that you're looking for through your video and video content right now is the biggest thing going in content marketing mm. because as a society, we don't want to read anymore. Right. We are scared of books and, we, and, uh, yeah. and long emails. Or, yeah, that's for sure. We don't take the time for that. But, uh, you, you, so you were thinking ahead, Mark. I mean, when you came, came to forming this business while yeah. you were employed somewhere else. And uh, that's a a story that a lot of folks go through when it comes to, you know, thinking ahead and and doing something like that. Congratulations. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Because, you know, we live our life in three-year increments. If you're lucky, five-year increments, if you get Mm -hmm. a five-year contract in television news. So you never know when things are going to change. You never know when leadership will change. You never know when you're not going to be the flavor of the month anymore. So you've Mm -hmm. got to think ahead. You've got to start planning for tomorrow. You know, I consider myself relatively young. I do have two grandchildren, but (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm not old enough to retire. So I consider myself uh, still a young with you, pal. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm right in that in that gray area um, where I wanted to create my own 
uh, legacy and, my, and, and, and live with purpose. I feel like helping people communicate from a place of love and understanding is doing a greater good. Um, helping us understand one another helps us communicate better. So when I go into a corporation and I do a, a seminar on dynamic uh, communication, the first thing I start with is us. Right. Because if we're not happy with who we are, it's difficult for us to communicate with others sure. on a positive level, in a positive tone, in a productive manner. That makes all the sense in the world. And today we've got folks that are able to create their own media. I mean, here's a great example. The the format we're on right now, podcast, uh, people have their iPhones. <laughs> yes. So that that is uh, people, even if they don't get the chance to be on television or and tell that three minute story as you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. they do have a chance to create their own image and that's really where you come in. Absolutely. If you've got a phone, you've got a network, right? So you can your your creativity is your only limitation. But you and I, we grew up in an era without a network. We right. had cords attached to our phones. Right. And rabbit ears on the, <laughs> exactly. on the TV, right? Exactly. <laughs> so a lot of folks my age and our age and our contemporaries need my assistance because they're like, well, it sounds easy enough, but I don't know where to begin. And that's where we come in. We help you create that content. We help you find media placements. We help you understand the, the media outlet that's reaching the audience that you're looking for. See, that's critical, mm. right? And understanding who you're, you're, you're talking to, who is going to be your ideal customer. What does your ideal customer look like? And once you figure that out, I can help you and steer you around to the different media outlets, whether they be national or local, and help you find the audience you're looking for so you can increase your bottom line. You don't care that I have two Emmy nominations. You don't care that I won a national award for covering spot news. You care that I'm a good storyteller and I can help you make more money by helping you connect with those potential customers. Mm, I love it. Mark Hayes, Mark Hayes Consulting. Mark, you are, I mean, we, we know that media training is important. We, we know that mm. by definition, but g just give your perspective on that and what that looks like as you work with a business owner. You mentioned helping them find their ideal customer, but talk about what an engagement looks like. All right. So we don't know what we don't know, right? In the entrepreneurial space, I even have a coach to help me understand the nuances of entrepreneurship and business and scaling your business and expanding and a customer acquisition. So when it comes to media, a lot of us think we understand because we watch a lot of it, but we don't really understand the process and how it works. And I help you um, answer those questions. I help you figure out who you're talking to. I help you figure out what your message is. So once, once I get um, with a client, I have a client that I'm working with this week. I'm so excited. They do affordable housing in the city of Atlanta and, um, and it's the best kept secret in Atlanta. And I've been it's just recruiting this young man for years to tell him. It's like, look at all this amazing work you're doing, but you're not telling your story. Mm -hmm. And if you don't tell it, who's going to tell it? So what we're doing now for him is helping him create content that he can either park on his website or on his social media channel, maybe his YouTube. And we're going to position him as the thought leader in these. I, when I look at him, I think you should be testifying on, on Capitol Hill about oh, wow. affordable housing mm. and what it means. We have so many cities and so many people around the country that can relate to this issue. Look at what's going on in Atlanta right now. Mm -hmm. You know, keeping somebody's got to do the work. We can't have all chiefs and no Indians. Sure. So those Indians need affordable housing. It's a huge issue nationally. And Atlanta has, of course, become a global city. And, um, at Quest Communities, they're doing their very best to help provide opportunities for people to call home. And, you know, when you have a place that you call home, it's easy to take it for granted. Yeah. But when you don't, you're glad for people like Quest who are providing these opportunities for people who, who may otherwise be forgotten. So getting that message out, not just what they do, but what the brand stands for and the passion behind it yes. is how we help uh, Leonard Adams is the CEO, how we help him excel, bringing out um, that message, that passion, the why. 
Leonard, interestingly enough, has never worked for anyone else but himself. He's been a serial entrepreneur <laughs> since he graduated college. Wow. It's that's most, unusual. Absolutely. It's yeah. the most impressive thing yeah. I've ever seen. He's a, um, a military veteran and he began his business by uh, picking up veterans um, who were homeless and getting them into secure housing and then providing them with social services. Isn't that a great story? I that's mean, a wonderful that's story. That's an amazing story. And I'm like, let her tell that story every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So do you find that folks like that are maybe a little hesitant? They don't think they they don't think they're doing anything, quote unquote, right? right. They, <laughs> but, right. but the truth of the matter is they're doing some great work. And the, the, that's what we like to think we do here at Business Radio X is help folks like that get the word out on what they do. And you really help them tell that story in a way that connects with folks and media is the way to do it. Absolutely. And, and it's where we are now, especially if you're trying to reach the, the millennials and he's got a lot of millennials on his staff. He's got a 31 person staff. He's got a lot of young people working for him. They're in that digital space. Sure. You're talking to them. You're talking to potential employees, um, potential business partners Everyone is living in that digital space anymore. I, I, I always joke with my, my friends, um, because I have a 24 year old son who just came back from college and he lives with me. He doesn't ask me for the remote, right? He's right. Like, I got to charge my phone because I want to watch something on Netflix, <laughs> right? So, right. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. all digital all the time. Yep. So I help them get out of their way. I help Leonard, I help Leonard realize that $40 million worth of, uh, renovation projects and reinvestment into the West side of Atlanta is a big deal. Sure. Right. He's looking at it from the standpoint of this is what I do. Right. So mm-hmm. It's just, this is why I come to work. Right. No, yeah. no, we all want to hear about what you're doing because you're making our community a better place and it's okay to toot your own horn, tooting mm. your own horn. <laughs> I, I know it's, it's, it's a sketchy and a difficult reference. And I don't think my wife is listening, but take the Kardashian effect, mm. um, into example. Right. I mean, Kim got carpal tunnel just because she's on the phone all the time. I can see yeah. yeah. Tooting that own horn, but look at the brand they built. Right. You know, look at the empire that they have built off self promotion, understanding their audience, reading their audience and providing the things that their audience loves. They fill that void all the time. They do. Now, now speaking of celebrities like that, so what have you learned from the years that you spent interviewing folks like that? Wow. There, I, fortunately, with that job at Good Day Atlanta, it's the best job I ever had. And I met the most amazing people. So a couple of examples jump right out at me. First of all, Will Smith is just the epitome of perfect when it comes to being a pitchman and salesman because he understands the game. So when I, I always tell this story, when I ever, I get a chance to talk to kids and, and help them understand why it's so important to form a relationship, even with a stranger. Mm. So I went out to interview Will Smith for the movie. I am legend. You may have seen it. Yes. Wasn't a great, great. movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When I got finished talking to Will Smith, I would have told you that this thing is going to win five to ten <laughs> Oscars for every aspect of this movie. He had right? you, huh? <laughs> he, he shook my hand. He gave me a hug. You know, he said, Mark, how you doing today? I thought we were buddies from West Philly. I love you know, it. From back in the day. Right, right. But he engaged me and he had me thinking that, you know, here's a guy that I know. So I'm talking mm. to him. As if we're friends, yep. immediately we formed this bond. And so when I was leaving and I realized what he had done to me, <laughs> <laughs> it was too late by right. then, right? right? Yeah. So I'm on my way out and I said, well, you know, what, what are you doing? Why? He said, look, this is what I do. Mm. And quite simply, all that meant was I'm working. Yep. I'm trying to connect with you so that you go back and connect with your audience in Atlanta and those folks that you connect with come out and see my movie. I mean, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. And now not every movie star does that. Right. Not every movie star does that. So George Clooney was another one. Mm. You know, I mentioned high, his high school basketball to, team to him. And immediately we became bonded at the hip. I love and it. it was just one of those moments where, you know, you do a little research, you prepare mm-hmm. and, and, and you prepare for that interaction. 
And George loved it. He loved it. I was interviewing him for the good German. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. And so he understands, you know, what that connection means. And cause he was looking for that connection as well. Sure. Right. I just happened to have that in my hip pocket, but because I was, um, able to relate to him in a way that was personal and, 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 and deeply personal to him, he gave me more than I probably would have gotten had I just sat down and, you know, conducted my four minutes and right. got up and run out of there. Sure. But instead, you know, he gave me gold. Mm. And, um, and so forming those relationships, it's just like, it's like selling a car, mm-hmm. you know, when that when you walk into the showroom, that salesman tries to connect with you. These guys are who they should be learning from because you can learn how to sell a car, you know, right. by listening to somebody sell their movie. And we're, we're speaking with Mark Hayes, Mark Hayes Consulting. And, and, and Mark, you really bring that, all that experience to bear on a small business owner yeah. or it, it, you know, it really, uh, most business owners mm-hmm. that really haven't had no exposure to that. So yeah. it's really, uh, important to have that expertise to help support that move into something that most folks really know they need to do. Right. Right. And it's about being comfortable, right? If you're not comfortable in front of that camera, your best you is not going to show the great thing about video. And we used to say, when I played college football, the eye in the sky, don't lie. (laughs) So the video is the great equalizer. Sure. They say up to 80% of people will watch a video prior to making a purchase online. They'll watch a video about that product and then buy. It's because now they trust and believe in that product because they've seen it at work in the video. The same thing goes for personal services. It's why we connect to people and people have these um, infectious followings on social media. Because you feel like those folks, Grant Cardone is a great example. You feel like he's talking to you when he's inspiring you and lifting you up and showing you his sales call. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm. I mean, he's got an incredible following, right? Even with his checkered past, he still f- has reinvented himself and through video and social media found a way to connect with people because of his incredible story, because of the movie portrayal, but he still adds value. In every video that he puts out, he adds inspiration and he adds know-how. He shows you his sales calls. They're, they're actually pretty informative. I've watched a lot of them, uh-huh. right? Trying yeah. to figure out how to do sales. Right. You know, so there are, um, it's, it's about being comfortable, understanding who you are and being genuine. And, and that's one thing that every client of mine will hear. One of the first things out of my mouth, you've got to be you. You've got to be genuine because the audience will see right through. That everybody's BS meter is through the roof right now, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so you, yeah, you, for you, sure. Yeah, you you've got to give them the true and authentic self that exists within you. That's great, Marques. Marques Consulting. Uh, wow, great conversation. Uh, Thank you. For those that would like to extend the the engagement with you a little further, would like to be in touch with you and see how they might be able to work with you and what you could do for them. How do they do that? Yeah. My website is markhayesconsulting.com. I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me at Mark Hayes, Instagram, Mark Hayes TV, Twitter at morning maniac. That morning maniac. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> Comes from my morning television of days. So. Of course. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and I'm active on my social media. I love the social media aspect and the interaction of it. And it's a great business tool as well. So surprise, yeah. surprise. Mark Hayes is active on social media. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark Hayes, Mark Hayes Consulting. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, folks, if you need help curing the headaches of administrative tasks or bookkeeping, marketing, presentations, well, if you need any of that, go engage a smart and reliable Office Angel. They're not a temp agency or a placement firm. Office Angels matches your business support needs with angels who have the talent and experience necessary to help you maintain and grow your business on an ongoing or as-needed basis. Your terms, your timeline. They lend a hand when needed and fly off when the job is done. Find out more at officeangels.us or call Chief Executive Angel SES Cabido at 770-442-9246. And now we turn to Josh McClure. Josh is with United Water Restoration Group of Atlanta North. 
Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning, Josh. It's great to have you here. Likewise, we appreciate the privilege of being present here this morning. Yeah, thank you. So tell us a little bit about United Water Restoration Group. Absolutely. First and foremost, thank you, John, and the team here at Radio X for giving me the privilege to be here. And and what a great gentleman to follow in Mark. I mean, he set the tone, didn't he? I think with with both of you, we got personality off the meter this morning. So (laughs) I think that's, and I think that's great. So bring it on, man. Absolutely. So United Water Restoration Group, we uh, do three things and we do it very well. Uh, We serve, support and encourage individuals when they experience water, fire, or mold damage to their residential or commercial property. If you think about it, John, outside of losing a loved one, family member, or friend, that's very tragic, you know, the loss of a loved one, family member, or friend. Second to that is the place where these memories are created in your home, right. in your business, when you brought your grandbaby home for the first time. And then all of a sudden there's an incident that occurs that there creates water damage, fire damage, or mold damage. You want that property to be put back whole, and that's what we specialize in, and we're honored to do that each and every day. So the, you're hitting people at a really tough time, obviously, Absolutely. as you mentioned. I mean, Absolutely. that's a pretty traumatic experience. And at the same time, there's a whole lot of business, if you will, paperwork, claims, in, uh, dealing with the insurance company, which is the last thing anybody wants to do during Absolutely. that time. So talk about how that process works for you and your company. Absolutely. So any event, uh, incident, as we spoke about, occurs, what we do is we specialize and collaborate with the insurance provider. Any insurance provider that you can think of, we connect with, and we uh, facilitate the prior top process from A to Z. You know, so what in, in layman's terms, what that means is that the homeowner or business owner is able to go about their day to day life taking care of family extracurricular activities. So in the case of it being a water damage, we come in, we do our uh, investigative work. I, su- I suppose you could say we lay out our equipment. We uh, help the client understand exactly how long the process is going to take. And then we, in turn, on the back end, connect with the adjusters of that uh, respective insurance provider. And then we take it from there. And then once our process is complete, the homeowner's happy uh, and all is well. All they have to do is just live their life and not worry about those things. Well, wow, Josh, you, you- you make it sound like I'm almost ready to have a flood in my house to have you come out and fix me up. Hey, we'll man. be I mean, there. You make that sound so easy. We'll be there 24 <laughs> hours a day, seven days a week, wow. 365 okay. days a year. We're there. Okay. Uh, Monica, my wife, I'm not serious about that. So, but anyway, <laughs> but we know who we're going to call if we have that problem. I got jo- a cr- couple crowbars in the vehicle. Uh, if you uh, like. uh, okay. Josh McClure <laughs> with United Restoration Group. Uh, so, there are a lot of different companies like yours out there. So, why? Why United Restoration Group? Absolutely. I think I just echoed it on it earlier. You know, we have over 30 plus years of experience. Our organization uh, is actually a franchise. Uh, They were established about in 2000, actually. And about five to six years ago, they decided to create a model of franchises. And we are the first to the Atlanta market covering all the metropolitan area. And what differentiates us is our experience and expertise. I myself have six plus years of experience. Our lead technician, Chuck Taylor, who is a awesome gentleman has 33 years plus of experience hmm. uh, shout out to our ownership dennis uh, legacy and Anne marie branco they are very versed in the uh category and industry as well uh-huh. and we recently have hired a, a gentleman by the name of daquan green that's doing a phenomenal job so we are just elated to be in the marketplace and we recognize that as you said earlier this is an event that has caught individuals off guard so we treat that home just like we would treat we even have created something that we call a white glove experience so when we come into the client's home or business we actually have white booties on our on our shoes mm. to make sure that we're keeping that property clean we take inventory of everything all our technicians and team members are are background check criminally background check and vetted out that way if we were in that home we would be like if, if it's our home so we want to make sure that that experience, although adverse of how it came about, ends up being very pleasurable for that homeowner or business owner. Sure. We're speaking with Josh McClure, and he's with the United Water Restoration Group. Now, Josh, you've got a, and maybe you were 
mentioning this and and not by name, but I know you've got a core four promise, yes, right? Yes. T- tell yes. us about, a little more about that. Absolutely. Core four promise. What we specialize in again is 25, 30 plus years of experience, our white glove experience, which in term layman terms means that we're going to treat everything about that home or business as if it, it was our own. And we have a customer satisfaction, 100% customer satisfaction. Okay. So those elements there help us to differentiate ourselves. As you said earlier, uh, everyone under the moon is doing something and virtually they're almost doing it the same. But every day we're trying to presult, propose ourselves and position ourselves in such a way where when that homeowner, that insurance agent, that plumber or whomever has referred us, calls upon us, they look at us as an extension of their business and we're able to come out, facilitate the process, uh, calm the, the homeowner or business owner down because they have never experienced this themselves before. Sure. So we want to make this as seamless and as stress-free as possible. Now, Josh, you give back, you and your company give back to your communities uh, in a various ways. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely. We most recently had a client, uh, I mean, she gave us permission. Her name was Pam Long. Mr. Long actually served in our great country, a, a part of the military. And what she did, she does on the side is that when there's, uh, our great men and women pass, they have something that's called a flag holder. So when they are bringing in the family, they actually have a, a line on the left and right side of the road or at the cemetery site of individuals that are holding flag, uh, just showing their respect, uh, to that male or female that has passed away that has served mm. our great country. Mm. And we recognize that. So we had the privilege just to be very conscientious of that when we were in her home. And then later on through our dialogue with her, we found out that she actually supported wounded uh, victims that served our country. So uh, not to pat ourselves on the back because we do everything in a place of humility, but we were honored to be able to make a contribution to her on behalf of United Water Restoration Group. Dennis Legassi, our owner, uh, was gracious enough to make a contribution to her. Wow, that's and wonderful. So we are looking forward, and with us being you know, open uh, uh, a mere 11 weeks, we're continually looking forward to finding ways to serve our great communities because our perspective is not just to be taken Acres, but we're trying to find ways to give back. That's wonderful. Yeah, and that sounds like, I mean, beyond the contribution, which is wonderful, it sounds like you got folks that engaged in a conversation with, with this lady when they came in as opposed to just be there, do the job, and leave. Great which is, point. Which is really nice. Absolutely. When we come into a home, uh, we're obviously looking at that individual, if, if that was our sister or if that was our brother or our grandmother, our aunt. And we want to be able to, again, be very sincere in our approach uh, and make sure that they understand that we're there to support them, to serve them and encourage them. That's our mantra. Serve, support and encourage. That's great. Now, so. Let's give some advice to folks. Yes. Okay. So I, I go downstairs in the morning, find water in my basement. Beyond calling United Water Restoration, what, what should I do when I see that problem? But while I'm waiting for you to get there. Absolutely. If you go down first and foremost, I hope the floor is not slick because we would not want you to fall. No. <laughs> Nevertheless, but certainly if you were to uh, experience an incident like that, the first thing you want to do is to contact a plumber because to make sure that the water has been shut off because most uh, homeowners and business owners do not realize that it is per their policy. It's a expectation that they minimize the front end damage mm. because every insurance provider is, is willing to pay out a claim, but of course it is some responsibility as it relates to that homeowner or business owner. So the first thing we would ask that a homeowner or business owner would do is shut the water off. And then upon that, call a plumber. And then we have a great relationship with quite a few plumbers. And then on the back end, they will contact us. We come out, we facilitate the process. So I think just minimizing the risk on the front end in a case of a water damage would be to shut the water off. If you're unaware of what that, where that is, course follow up with by calling a plumber probably good to know that ahead of time right because it's absolutely it, it's uh during the panic moments when you're seeing this problem very true it's uh it, that's not a good time to try to figure it not out at all yeah. not at all and you're already having so many things going through your mind obviously sure. you have it may be one of those rare mornings where you got to get your kids to school or there's a soccer game later on that day so yeah. having a relationship uh with someone such as ourselves is very imperative this has been great. Josh McClure, 
with United Water Restoration. So, Josh, for those that would like to know more, would like to be in touch with you, tell them how to do that. Absolutely. You certainly can go to our website, which happens to be UWGR north atlanta.com of course uh my best contact number which again we want to everyone to stress that we are a 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year so there's never a, a, a inconvenient time to call upon us so my cell phone number as i'm a, a contact person for the organization is 470-380-5469 and we cover all the metropolitan area and of course we're on all the social media platforms uh twitter Facebook, Instagram. That's that's fantastic. So, uh, folks, Josh McClure, he's with United Water Restoration Group of Atlanta North, but covers the entire market here in Atlanta. Absolutely. So thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for the privilege. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, so, folks, it's a reminder that you can listen to our show every Tuesday morning. Uh, and uh, we, sometimes we have special episodes, so don't miss any of those. But if you miss any of our shows, you can find us on Apple Podcast, formerly iTunes, uh, Stitcher, TuneIn, Spotify, your favorite podcast app, whatever that is. Mine happens to be Overcast, and they owe me something for plugging them. Uh, <laughs> or, or online at NorthFultonBusinessRadio.com. Uh, you can find our entire, entire archive of shows there and, uh, uh, hear about the good work that, uh, a lot of great entrepreneurs in our market are doing. Uh, also check us out on Twitter and Facebook. I have to mention that or Mark's going to be upset with me for uh, <laughs> for not plugging social media. So uh, North Fulton BRX uh, is where you can find us there. So for our guest, Mark Hayes with Mark Hayes Consulting and Josh McClure with United Water Restoration Group, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on North Fulton Business Radio. Renaissance Rewards Extra is the checking account that checks all the boxes. Roadside assistance? Check. Cell phone insurance? Check. More than 400,000 local shopping discounts? Check. Up to $25 per month in ATM refunds and a great rate? Check. All in an easy-to-use mobile app. To open an account or find out more about Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking, go to renaissancebank.com or visit us at any of our more than 190 locations throughout the South. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender.